Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another Tinder Tasty Tea Days. It's been a while. It's it's been how many months has it been? Two, two months, two months, sixty days around there. I don't know. You've been counting. I haven't. But I'm back. Am I here to stay? I don't know. I I, I just kind of I don't know what it is, man. I've been I've been thinking about Wizard 101, and I've been going back to the game. You know, I played like two times so far, and like I don't I don't I don't know. I don't know. It's like I'm torn between I, two dimensions, and I don't know which one to go into. You know what I mean? But I wouldn't say that we're back finally. Like, I wouldn't say, oh, Smoker's making Wiz content now. Yay! No, no, no. That's, no. That's not what's going on. This is a test. I, I just want to see. I just want to see how many people are actually going to tune into this video and actually watch it. Hey, if you like Tinder Tasty Tea Days and you're interested in seeing more of Tinder Tasty Tea Days, here's your chance to tell me. You already clicked the video. You already started watching it. What's wrong with leaving a like? You know what I mean? Go ahead and leave that like. You know what I mean? Go ahead and make a comment. Hey, small, make more. You know? I don't know. But if you want to see more of these videos like this, my friend, it's, it's really up to you. It's really up to you. This is like a little bit of a testament, hey? If a lot of people don't want to see Tinder Tasty Tea Days, then I'm just going to stop posting Tinder Tasty Tea Days. But if a lot of people want to see Tinder Tasty Tea Days, I might as well keep posting Tinder Tasty Tea Days. You know what I mean? But enough jibber jabber. This is up 24? No, no, no. This is 25, actually. I think I stopped on 24. So, yeah. Episode 25. Let's get started. I'm going to find a diamond with your name and a new pro. I'm going to slap the diamond on your chain. Welcome everybody back to another episode of Tinder Tasty Tea Day. If you guys don't know what Tinder Tasty Tea Days is, Tinder Tasty Tea Days is basically an episode on the YouTube channel that we run every single Tuesdays and Thursdays uh, that I forgot the saying. It's when the family comes together and we rate stitches sent in by you guys via Twitter using the hashtag Tinder Tasty Tea Day. If you're interested in submitting your stitch for a little bitty rating, my uh, good fellow sir, all you have to do is go to Twitter, make an account if you don't already have one, follow me at Smojo SF, make a post, add me in a post with the hashtag tender tasty tea days and don't forget to leave your stitch okay if you do all of those things then i will see it and i will be rating your stitch in the the future far near whatever in the future basically but yeah without further ado let's go ahead and get started with episode wait no this isn't 25 that's oh, dungeons with randoms this is this is episode eight i think i i i'm so lost this is episode seven this is yeah this is this is this is the no 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 yes is it i don't know for episode seven's sake we're just gonna call this episode seven okay we got a stitch sent in by crazy kennedy shout out kennedy uh she's awesome so you know you guys check her out if she wants to be checked out i guess either way this is a stitch sent in by kennedy kennedy says at smojo sf here's my life hitting stitch i love it so much i hope you will to hashtag tinder tasty tea day well thank you kennedy for submitting your stitch you are amazing and i hope to see future stitches of yours that you shall submit and right off the bag, this is a really nice little life stitch, I will admit. So if you guys don't know how this works already, there's four little emojis above my head and they all have a meaning. The eyes basically mean, does your stitch look nice? Is it appealing to the eye? Does it look generally good? You know what I mean? And then the second emoji, which is the brain, does your stitch make sense? Like, does the gear actually work well with, with each other? The materials, the, just the way it looks, you know what I mean? Does, does it work? Does it actually like fit with one another? You know what I mean? And then the star is how unique is the gear, you know? does the gear that you're using is it used a lot like do a lot of people use gear that looks like the gear that you're using basically and then the 100 at the end is basically all three of the previous ones put together for the overall final rating of the gear like it's just the final rating basically so let's start with the googly eyes does it look nice okay Alexandra Song, Clean Plate Club, okay Clean Plate Club does it look nice okay so we're right off the back right off the back all right Right off the bat, there's a few things that, you know, I mean, okay, let me, let me, let me, my, my mind is all over the place. Let me backtrack. Does it look nice? Yes. Generally speaking, yes, it does look nice. You know what I mean? I'd come across your stitch, you know, you just walking around in the comments and be like, oh yeah, that's a nice stitch. You know what I mean? It does look decent. You know, it's not the best looking stitch I've ever seen in my entire life. However, I've seen a lot worse stitches. We've, we've all seen a lot worse stitches and this stitch just isn't one of the worst stitches so i think i'm gonna go ahead and rate you like a seven out of ten on does it look good you know what i mean it doesn't look bad and it doesn't look extremely amazing you know what i mean you do have some ups and downs but generally speaking it does look pretty solid so i'm a seven out of ten on that and i'm gonna tell you why i can't give you anything higher than a seven out of ten the first thing that i'm going to say is the fact that the hat and the boots that are, you are using do not match so you're using insignia 
hat with the shadow insignia boots. I don't know, man. I don't know. You're using the life insignia hat with the shadow insignia boots. Those just don't, you know what I mean? I, I can, you know, it just, it just, if you're going to use the life insignia hat, please use the life insignia boots. Just, just have something that matches. If you're going to use insignia, you got to use insignia of the same school. Like they all got to match. Like you can't walk. Hey man, I got me a fire insignia hat with some ice insignia boots and, 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 and uh, fucking the, and the storm insignia robe. Like that is it's just, it's all over the place, bro. You, you don't match when you ran a whole bunch of random attire. It was like wearing a, a yellow hat with some blue shoes and a red belt. You know what I mean? You look like a rainbow, you know, it just doesn't work. You know what I mean? That's, that's the that's the one of the main reasons why I can't give you anything higher than a seven out of ten. Another reason why I can't give you it is because your hat and your boot both have black in it, and your robe doesn't. Like your robe, there's there's not a speck of the color black in there. You know what I mean? So it kind of throws it off just a little bit. Um, but that's like on a minor part, but it's still like a thing. But the things that I do like, I like the life vibe. You know, you got the, you got the pet, which is a life pet looking solid. You got the wand, which is green licorice run looks dope. Uh, you know, I like the background with the tree and the grass and everything like that. Like everything you put together exemplifies life. And I, and I like that. You know what I mean? It, it looks dope. It looks good. It looks solid. You know, the picture itself looks good, but there are some flaws. Like I said before that I said, and yeah. Now it's time for the big brain. Does it look like it goes well together? I think it does. You know what I mean? Like, like everything looks like it fits well. You know, your the material of all the equipment that you're using is made out of cloth and everything. Like, it looks like it's supposed to go together. You know what I mean? It doesn't look too out of balance. It's not like you're using some helmet from Darkmoor that's like metal, and then you got a, a cloth robe that you got from the the marketplace. I don't know, man. You know, but but everything you're using material wise looks like it's supposed to go together. So I'm gonna. Give you a solid 10 out of 10 out of that i don't really see anything wrong with anything that you're wearing you know what i mean and then the final one is it unique now here's where you're gonna lose points kennedy here's exactly 100 percent where you about to lose some points does it look unique does it kennedy kennedy i'm asking you does it i know you watch my videos kennedy does it look unique to you you probably gonna say yes but i'm gonna say no mainly because of your boots in your hat and here's why so basically a lot of people that i i've seen around running in the commons the arena and everywhere around wizard 101 for the last few years i've been playing i've been seeing everyone using those type of boots right there that boot right there everyone uses those those are they've been used and abused and then destroyed and re, you know everyone uses those boots those those i have no clue what they're named but they're the boots everyone you know what i'm talking about everyone's been using those boots and they still use them now your hat on the other hand is not used as much as the boots are but it's still used a lot and the fact that it's insignia gear kind of makes me sad you know what i mean i love seeing these stitches where combinations where people come up with stuff and they don't use insignia gear because insignia gear is so overused now don't get me wrong you can make a beautiful stitch with insignia gear we're not we're not talking about looks here we're talking about uniqueness is her stitch unique you know what i mean and honestly i wouldn't say it's the most unique stitch out there but you're not rocking full commander robe and stuff like that you know what i mean i'm gonna give you a solid five out of ten on this one kennedy a solid five out of ten on this one you do have some unique parts like your robe for example is unique and your one for example is unique but your boots and hat i wouldn't say so you know your hat's like a like eh, it's like in the middle of uniqueness and your your boots are just at the the the, 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 the fucking bottom just the bottom, you know, the, the only thing that I would say is kind of is unique about your boots is the fact that they're not insignia or like, I think you can only get those out the crown shop or maybe those aren't shadow boots. What am I talking about? I said shadow earlier. Those are not shadow insignia boots. I am sorry. Those boots, I believe you can only get out the crown shop. So maybe I'll lift their, uh, their uniqueness. Maybe, I'll, maybe a tad. I'll give you a six out of 10, a, a six out of 10 on those. I'll give you a six out of 10 only because you can only get them from the crown shop. I don't think you can actually get those out of draw. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't think you can get those from a drop. I think they're only from the, the, the crown shop, but yeah, either way, the style of the boot is still the same. Even if it has a different design, it's still not unique in my eyes, at least. So yeah, overall uniqueness, six out of 10. That leaves us with a six out of 10 on uniqueness, a 10 out of 10 on doesn't make six and a seven out of 10 on looks. If we round all those bad boys up you get a solid seven out of ten on your stitch miss miss alexandra song miss song mrs mrs song i'm gonna give you a seven out of ten on a stitch not a bad stitch could be better could definitely be better i if it was up to me i would definitely keep that robe i would definitely keep the pet i would definitely keep the wand and i'll the only thing i would change is the boots and the hat your boots and the hat just 
they feel like they just don't belong with the color the way that they are everything like that it just feels like they don't belong if i was you i would try to find me some boots and a hat that don't have black in them or i would probably dye your boots and hat a color that's not black and put in some more green in there you know put some more green in the situation that you got going on you know what i mean other than that i do appreciate you submitting your stitch i really really appreciate it and by the way everything i say about stitches is my own opinion you know what i mean i might not like your stitch but you might not like your stitch and if you like your stitch then keep your stitch hot the way it is don't let what i say influence you to change your whole entire attire you know what i mean if you like it and you think it's perfect then keep it you know what i mean at the end of the day what i say does not really matter either way appreciate you guys watching the video if you want to submit your own stitch remember all you have to do is go over to twitter uh follow me at smojo sf make a post with the hashtag tinder tasty t days make sure you adding me in the actual post so that i can actually see it um and make the post about your stitch and then put your stitch in there so i can take the picture and do the, do the picture stuff you know what i mean um but yeah if you guys submit it it would be amazing and if you don't then f you i guess i appreciate you guys watching have a great evening morning afternoon whatever it is and i'll see you guys in the next video have a great day and goodbye Thank you.